Yeah, we started, um, I think, end of 2019. I wrote something, yeah, critiquing the open art gallery's representation of LGBT artists. Um, feel a little bit weird about that now, but at the time it was kind of like, I was just frustrated. I have lots of friends who are like queer artists and like none of them get shows and stuff. Um, it was, it sparked like a really interesting conversation around representation in art galleries, but I think ultimately you can't really depend on institutions to really do anything or it's so slow moving and stuff. So I think for me, um, yeah, I've worked in galleries like for a long time, not just open art gallery, but other artists around spaces and stuff. Um, so yeah, I just decided to do my own thing. But like I worked two jobs, two part-time jobs, um, one in just retail and one in like the sex industry. Um, and that pays my rent and so it means that the gallery has no obligations to anything. Um, we definitely prioritise LGBT artists um, and artists that focus or like have like um, queer sensibilities or concerns in their work. Yeah, um, it's kind of a tricky situation because um, I think LGBT people, there's no like unifying kind of um, thing that makes someone like a queer artist, or whatever, they can be queer artists who are like not concerned whatsoever about like LGBT issues or whatever. Um, so yeah, I don't know, we take each artist as they come kind of thing. I also don't want to like encourage a culture of like boxing people into like, um, like I, I have friends who are like queer as well as like, you know, like um, Māori and Pacific friends and stuff who only get shows if they like make work that the institution would perceive as being Māori or Pacific work, for example. I think this is our sixth show, um, but um, we've had like video shows, like we have projections all through the gallery, um, we've had sculptures, like all sorts of things. Like um, I don't choose the work based on how it will relate to the space, but rather it's like a challenge for the artist to try and make it work. Um, which makes for really interesting installations. Also because it's quite tight, like this corridor is quite narrow, um, you're quite intimate with the work, which is, yeah, I know, can do some interesting things. Part of um, me doing this was my personal frustrations, not just with representation, but also uh, I feel like there was like a culture that was quite, um, I don't know, it felt like in Auckland you couldn't do something unless you did things in a particular way or followed like a particular culture when that's not true, that's a big myth. So um, as an artist, I don't know, I feel like there's these old kind of ideas of how artists run spaces should behave and all these kind of things or if you start selling and therefore you have to stop being an artist and now you're a dealer and all this kind of shit. Um, I don't think that's necessary. Yeah. I think you can create like new ways of working in Auckland anyway, maybe. Yeah. yeah. I, don't know. I don't think there's limitations. I think it's just like challenges.